Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Arturo Herrero, the founder and CEO of Alter Power. It's my pleasure to come today to you uh, for the solar case of Sun Edison for solar PVTV. Sun Edison, the fall of a Titanic, is the story of um, a company very successful in development that last week, unfortunately, finally had to file for protection of bankruptcy. And definitely, it could impact the renewable industry sector for the next coming weeks and months. But also, it will help San Edison to restructure and be prepared for um, by paying part of the debt to continue developing the projects. As you know, San Edison were in, in touch and, and, and having big amount of money coming from different banks. During the last weeks, they were in negotiations with uh, senior bank lenders uh, like uh, Deutsche Bank, who was leading the group, and a group of creditors of junior debt offering in order to repay the $725 million that they asked, that San Edison asked in January. Unfortunately, in March, couldn't repay the debt, and technically they, they were in already in default. Also, they failed to file the reports uh, for the New York Stock Exchange Commission of the reports of 10K in the stock market. Uh, San Edison was having a huge problem of liquidity for already one year ago and was extremely leveraged, uh, up to 16 billion US dollars of liabilities. So this lack of cash flow controls is mainly due to the management, the poor management on not only controlling the, the leverage of the company, but also to give enough credibility to the market. Besides the multitude of lawsuits, uh, including Vivian Solar, the attempt of, of purchasing of this company in the residential market, and also a lot of lawsuits coming from uh, investors itself. So um, the big management problem of San Edison even uh, they came to claim, I mean, they claim to have uh, 21 billion US dollars in assets and enough cash during the earnings call uh, last year, the last earnings call they have for Q3, didn't help too much um, after the resignation of the former CFO, Brian Wibbles, who was the, also the head of the Terraform Power and, and Terraform Global and former CFO of, of San Edison. It brought more chaos to the situation. In April 14th, San Edison got a positive audit report, but it was not enough to give confidence to investors. And they were confirming that they was not misleading in their communication during the earnings call. Uh, but from our point of view, it was uh, an attempt to get the share to go up in the last days of the trading. If you see in the next slide, the the graphs of the company. During one year, what San Edison was uh, reaching over 30 US dollar per share. Then when they filed last week for bankruptcy, that's a value more than 0 0.34, 34 cents US dollar per share. And in the last three months, we have seen a lot of up and downs, a lot of uh, volatility in the share for some investors trying to, to cash out and some investors trying to get some profits in case uh, the company was alive in the future. E we have been following the history of the company. I know the founder of San Edison in 2006 and was, was really becoming a leading company in terms of uh, project development. And right now, unfortunately, because of the situation filing for, for Chapter 11, we have a serious doubt of their continuity unless they do a very good um, restructuring of the company and they can solve the issues with, with the mismanagement, the, the lack of controls, the low suites, and especially the over-leveraged balance sheet. San Edison was growing very fast and had a great success in, in gaining some projects in India, Mexico, Panama, USA, among many other countries, totaling a quantity of 21 billion US dollar 
assets, as they reported. And their shares were up from, from, from almost nothing to, to 30 US dollar. Uh, in very short time, from, from 15 to, youth, to 30. So there was a desire of many investors. The problem was that uh, it involved a big complexity in the financial structure of the company itself, and their financials, and again, uh, overconfidence um, in terms of the value for the assets that they spun off, like Terraform Power and Terraform Global. Both companies that right now, uh, seeing as uh, independent from San Edison, could react and could have uh, an improvement in their, in their share valuation. San Edison itself was extremely depending uh, upon the, the capital markets because all the equity and debt that they had. So once the market's uh, valuation in the stock market went down, they didn't have too much um, support and confidence from the, from the from the market community. The suicide strategy was essentially to grow as quickly as possible and as large as possible, with, with cost, a lot of wrong decisions in terms of a strategy, like the acquisition or the attempt of acquisition of Vivian Solar and the purchase of First Win that was uh, taking them out of their sole uh, investment in solar projects as, as the core business of San Edison since it was created. What we are seeing is that right now, as an analyst and independent advisors, I would recommend that um, we should be discriminating very carefully the companies in the solar industry that are healthy, that has a strong management team, that have um, good cash flow controls, versus the companies that are extremely leveraged and that has big, big debt and poor controls in the, in the cash flow. So for sure, the investors will be, have to be careful on the evolution on the, sh on the stocks for companies like, uh, like, like Vivian Solar or Solar City or Yingli in the next coming future. But other companies with uh, a strong situation like uh, Sun Power, like First Solar, even like Jinko Solar, they will be definitely perform well in the next coming days and, and weeks. Uh, just to um, give you some uh, idea of the Terraform's yield co that we believe is still a, a good um, platform for projects. Uh, Terraform Power had in assets over 2.7 gigawatts, half of them in solar, half of them in, in wind, with uh, valuable PPAs signed with utility scale projects and with mine companies for 10 to 20 years. And they have been increasing dividends in the last past quarters. Terraform um, Global is a, a slightly more risky because of the insufficient cash flow to pay the debt. But both companies could be, in the next coming future, easily valuable at uh, 25 to 30 US dollar per, per share for Terraform Power and around 10 to 12 US dollar per share for Terraform Global, according, according to many analysts. But the precondition is that these two companies are seen from now on as independent from the situation of San Edison. Just to remind you, last week when San Edison filed for Chapter 11 protection, both companies were up around 6 to 8% in the stock market. Let's see which is the evolution in the next coming days. Definitely, during the last months, they have been affected significantly by the situation of the mother company, San Edison. So just to finalize, the potential uh, scenarios that we were analyzing during the last, uh, the last months was uh, first, the definitely chapter 11 filing for bankruptcy. So it's happened and we expect that the company can restructure itself, can, um, can, can manage to, to, to solve some of the credibility issues and, and the, the lawsuits that they have pending. But definitely the, the shareholders will be wiped out automatically because the, the share is, is frozen at 0.34 US dollar per share. The second scenario that we were expecting is that San Edison could be renegotiating and gaining time 
with its creditors in order to, to, to pay part of the debt by selling some assets like um, the Indian projects. But unfortunately, they didn't have time enough to, to make it happen, and they didn't have any other choice than, than file for, for chapter, chapter 11. And the last one that we were also considering that could be also happening is if a big company is interested in buying San Edison with a brand name, with a, with a year, years of experience, with a good reputation in the past, not, not, not now, unfortunately, and make the company privately after uh, selecting the assets and selecting the, the management people that is still some of, of them that I know personally uh, has a lot of value and they're very good professionals with a lot of experience. So that's all for today. I'm happy to, to answer any questions. You can address to me uh, through Solar PBTV or directly to my company, Alter Power, with my uh, contact details. Thank you to all of you and have a nice day. Goodbye.